How many days has it been since you had a day free from knee pain? If you suffer from daily or almost daily knee pain, knee arthritis, this video is going to help you understand the simple, inexpensive steps to take to improve or completely get rid of your chronic knee arthritis. Many people blame their knee arthritis on standing on concrete all day, being overweight. I've just worn my joints out from working hard or playing hard over the years. In fact, many doctors will say this same thing. The problem is that none of these things are the actual root cause of your chronic knee pain. And this video is gonna help you understand what actually is and also what you can start to do about it immediately. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical experience, and this video is going to help you reverse your knee arthritis. If you know someone who suffers from chronic daily knee pain that actually impacts their activities of daily living, please share this video with them. You can send it in an email, a WhatsApp, a text message. You can share it on your social media. The only way they may ever hear about this simple, inexpensive, natural way to get rid of their knee pain is if you share this video. Now, first, let me tell you about a few things that I want you to avoid doing if you're currently having chronic knee arthritis pain. First and foremost, do not blindly take a daily anti-inflammatory like ibuprofen or naproxen or any of these things that block your body's natural inflammatory cycle. Uh, proper useful inflammation is the first step in the healing process. What you're going to do instead of blocking your body's natural response, which is inflammation, is you're going to remove the offending agents from your diet, and that's going to make your chronic inappropriate inflammation calm down, and it's also going to calm down your immune system that's attacking specific proteins in your knee joint. Don't take a daily pill. Don't take daily acetaminophen. Don't take a daily uh, prescription medication if your doctor gave it to you. Even if your doctor said it was safe for daily use, I promise you there is a long list of unintended yet meaningful consequences to taking a daily pill or handful of pills for your knee arthritis pain. Next is I want you to avoid not moving. I know right now that getting out of a chair hurts your knee. Walking any distance hurts your knee. But you have to understand a very simple concept. Just because it's causing pain does not mean it's causing damage. That's very important to understand with knee arthritis. So I want you to actually get up out of your chair multiple unnecessary times each day. I want you to walk even though your knee hurts a little bit. You're never going to damage your knee joint by walking more. Now, how much should you walk a day? You should walk more today than you walked yesterday. And if you'll follow that simple strategy, that will actually help stimulate a hormetic effect in your knee and help your knee actually regenerate, rejuvenate, and replace the damaged cartilage, help to heal the damaged tendons, and help to replace missing bone. Don't spend lots of money on supplements that are supposed to help your knee pain. They may help the symptoms of your knee pain, but they do not address the two root causes of your knee arthritis. So don't waste your money on those. If you're already taking one, it's probably not dangerous. Go ahead and take the remainder of it, but, but stop your automatic renewal uh, order. Don't order that anymore. You can fix your knee arthritis without spending that much money. And then finally, do not wear a daily brace, wrap, splint. There is zero research that shows that these help with the root cause to help make your joint stronger, to help your joint heal. They can actually weaken your muscles and tendons around the joint, and you don't want that. So I know that that, that brace or that wrap or that splint might help the knee pain, but it's not gonna help the knee heal. Now, a caveat, if you have an unstable knee joint, if you have torn ligaments that are in the process of healing, you may need a splint, a brace, or a wrap. I'm talking about just chronic knee arthritis. Don't wear that brace every day. What's actually going on with your knee arthritis? What's causing it? What's the, the two root causes? First and foremost is chronic inappropriate inflammation in your knee joint. This is not coming from you standing on concrete for 12 hours a day. This is not coming from your years as a football or basketball hero. 
This is not coming from you wearing your joint out. It's coming from chronic inappropriate inflammation inside the joint. Uh, your cartilage and your bone and your tendons and ligaments, they can heal, but it's a much slower process than your body's ability to heal more blood rich parts of your body like muscle and skin. So if you look at cartilage, tendon, fascia, bone, they're white. And that means they don't have a great blood supply at the knee joint. So it takes longer for them to heal. They're not gonna heal in just a few days or a few weeks like a, a cut on your skin would. It takes them longer, but they can absolutely heal and regenerate. You just have to give them time and you have to stop the things in your diet that are leading to this chronic inappropriate inflammation. The second thing that's causing this, the second root cause is an inappropriate autoimmune response. Your body is actually attacking specific proteins in your knee joint. The reason that your immune system is doing this is not because it's stupid, not because it's too strong, it's because it's confused by things that are getting into your, your knee joint from your diet. Now, let me tell you the things to eliminate from your diet that are going to start to immediately impact your knee arthritis. And uh, full disclosure here, I used to suffer from daily severe right knee arthritis pain. I would take uh, ibuprofen, 800 milligrams, three times a day, every day for this knee pain. And when I made the changes I'm about to tell you about, all that knee pain went away. And actually now at 51 years of age, I have less knee arthritis pain than I had when I was 35 years old. So uh, pay attention and get ready to copy this list. Number one, you need to remove all sugars from your diet, whether they are added sugars or natural sugars. So the sugar in soft drinks, the high fructose corn syrup and soft drinks, that crap's gotta go or you're never gonna get your chronic inflammation under control. Now don't switch to fruit juices because many of the fruit juices have more sugar in them than the sweetened beverages, sodas, or soft drinks. They are very, fruit juices are very, very high in fructose, which is one of the things that can lead to this chronic inappropriate inflammation. So you gotta get rid of the sugar. Number two, you gotta get rid of all the grains. You may have heard that gluten in wheat can lead to joint inflammation, and that's absolutely true. But the problem is, is that every grain and seed that you can eat has these defense molecules in them like gluten. And that goes for rice, oats, corn, soybean, millet, amaranth, um, any of these. Any of these guys have got, they don't want you to eat their seeds. They've got inflammatory molecules in them that are going to cause knee inflammation, therefore knee arthritis. Number three, get rid of all the vegetable oils. They're very high in omega-6 fatty acids, which can be quite inflammatory to every part of your body but also definitely inflammatory to your knee joint. Next is many people find that they have to get rid of all the nightshade vegetables from their diet. Now, if you don't know what a nightshade is, the best examples are potatoes, tomatoes, eggplants, and then you can actually Google nightshade and you can find out what all the rest of them. There's a long list. Some people don't seem to be affected by nightshades. Many people notice immediately that their knee arthritis flares up if they eat nightshades. Next is sitting too much. I already talked about this, but I need you to get up and walk every day. How much do you need to walk today? More than you walked yesterday and then repeat. Uh, a lot of people find out that lectins in their diet, and there's a long list of plants that have very high levels of lectin in them, these can lead to knee arthritis. So just Google plants that contain high lectins and avoid those in your diet. Next is lose some weight. Yeah, you definitely need to lose some weight, but it's not because that being overweight or obese is causing your knee arthritis, because it definitely is not but they go hand in hand, being overweight and having knee arthritis, not because one causes the other, but because they're both caused by the same two root causes. Another thing you need to do is add some vitamin D to your system. Now I said system, not diet, because preferentially you need to get vitamin D from the sun. Get out in the sun and get a healthy tan. This is gonna give you a ton of 
very ancestrally appropriate vitamin D. If you live at a high latitude or it's the wrong season, then you may have to supplement with a vitamin D supplement and that's okay too. I also have a video about vitamin D rich foods on this channel. And if for those of you who are saying, hey, what about vitamin K2? I also got a video on this channel about vitamin K2 rich foods. I want you to eat a lot of the foods from the vitamin D video and a lot of the foods from the vitamin K2 video. Finally, you need to get lots of collagen building products in your diet. This does not mean taking a collagen supplement, a collagen powder, you can get plenty of the collagen building blocks from your diet if you eat the right things. I've got a video about that as well. And at the end of this video, I think over here, all those videos I just talked about will pop up so you can watch those. If you're having trouble believing some of the things I said in this video, I don't blame you. There's research links down in the show notes below that will help you understand more about the root causes of knee arthritis. Also, if you've already used these dietary and lifestyle suggestions to improve your knee pain, pretty please put your story in the comments down below. Many people who see my videos, they're like, there's no way that's going to work. But if after they've read two or three hundred of your comments in the, in the comments below, then they're like, wow, it's working for a lot of people. In fact, hundreds of thousands of people have used these diet and lifestyle modifications to improve or completely get rid of their knee arthritis pain, and you can too. Lastly, once again, let me say pretty please share this video with somebody suffering from knee arthritis. As a former sufferer, I can tell you it really impacts your, your activities of daily living, and it can also make you a grumpy old fart if your knee arthritis hurts every day. I have two playlists on this channel of videos that actually give you a delicious, nutritious uh, diet that's sustainable for the rest of your life that you can enjoy every single day that, that honors everything I talked about in this video. And they're gonna pop up here and here at the end of this video. If you like vegetables, then watch the Keto 101 playlist. If you can just eat meat and be happy, then watch the Carnivore 101 playlist. Either one of those is gonna help you and decrease your knee arthritis pain by 80, 90% or just completely eliminate it. You're never going to hear this message from the big food corporations or the big pharma corporations because it really doesn't fit with their profit model. So if you'd like to give me more time and more resources to make videos just like this, become a patron at patreon.com. There's a link down in the show notes. It's a super quick sign up and you can help me fight against chronic diseases, including knee arthritis. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.